Aisharif Zini, El Abedin, and Imad Langnawi. Appalling attempt at a lag I've ever seen. Well, probably a, a, a bit of nerves. Thank so. you, first wreck. We'll shake that one off. Netherlands right along week. with the man from Morocco. But no shaking off for Beaster Bosch. This is business and probably maybe the biggest favorite in a match for all the seeds so far, but something to work on and look forward to the rest of the tournament. I'll tell you what, Roly, as soon as they won the lag, you knew Beister Bosch was going to break off. His break is simply explosive. Yeah, he really blasted that one ball right in the side. Push out, aiming for it. Got that wing ball nicely in the corner. Uh, a little hampered on the two, but I mean, this guy breaks like a monster. So let's see what Niels can do. Yeah, it'll be a lot of percentage pool for the Netherlands to start this match until Morocco shows them otherwise. What an outing for these two. What a, a day to be thrust into the, the international stage. Worldwide TV up against a couple of world-class opponents for Morocco and for Poole in that country. This is a, an extra step. Well, we saw the lag, which wasn't anything special, but pretty nice queuing there. Is it Lagnawi? Is that how we pronounce it? Pretty, pretty nice queuing there from him. Morocco is a, a terrific sporting destination. They've played the soccer team in the World Cup before, and they have many wonderful courses there, golf courses, that is. An annual event called the Hassan Der Trophy attracts many top players. As for Poole, though, I think it's fair to say mystery men. Nice opener for Niels there. Bit of a tricky shot, cutting the two back, and now in a great position to take rack number one. A lot of work left, though. Nice. Mark looks pretty relaxed, but I guess you'd have to be when you're playing with Niels Fan. He's a pro for 25 years. That's three years less than Mark has been alive. So. Niels is uh, as a rock-solid guy here, four-time Moscone Cup MVP, eight-time Moscone Cup player. He's just been all over pool for the last 20 years. It's amazing. And that's the one thing we'll see occasionally from Niels that we just used to hardly ever see is just an occasional miss on a ball that you don't expect. And it usually happens early. Early in the event, early in a match, maybe, and then he'll settle in. Yeah, we saw there the pronounced right eyed sighting of Niels Fine, and he queued right across that. Hmm? 
It was hampered queuing because of the centre pocket, but nevertheless, should have been knocked in. And this is where things will differ a little bit. But Beister Bosch will play the four behind the five, I believe. Miley. Oh, he's going with it firm with the bank. What a shot. Oh, wow. Wow, what a shot. That's more like the nails that we're used to seeing. Just perfect little position down there. Let's just narrowly go by the purple five and hit the center cut of the pocket on the bank from Bison Bush. Yeah, the bank itself was impressive. But when you think about the, the tiny tolerance he had, Get past the other ball. It was excellent. And that's the start we expected. The, the Dutch off to a flyer. Morocco, well, it's going to be, I think, for them, a baptism of fire. Which one? Neil's fine on the right hand side, as Rolly was saying. He wants to talk to you. It's been a, a colossus a of this sport. And even this year, he claimed a, a very notable title, the European Nine Ball Championship in Lasko, Slovenia. Be Daniel Gutenberger in the final. Actually, in that European Championship festival, he also got to the semi-final of the ten ball and the straight ball. That was the, the four missed by the Moroccans. That was the shot of the rack. Oh, from Bosch to Bosch. And some would argue, you know, who's the better player now between these two from the Netherlands, right? I mean, Beister Bosch has been a pretty solid player and, and up and coming and getting more match time now. He had a nice, nice little run at the Whirlpool Championships, always going to be a threat. Yes, Beister Bosch's last three events, he's finished in the top ten. Ninth at the Treviso Open, a Euro Tour event. Ninth in Bucharest, another counting event for the nine ball rankings. And ninth in the UK Open. Thank you, the second rack. Netherlands to break, leading one. -0. Table still breaking sweet as it has in the first two matches. Nice opener here on the two, and I'll let Field take it from here because I know what he likes to say about racks like this. You see, I was waiting for your permission, Jeremy, to say roadmap. I don't think it is quite, is it? But it's getting into that territory. Well, the roadmap, you know, part of it. Just kind of shows how great these players are. They constantly just with open tables, how efficient they are at clearing the racks. And sometimes as commentators, we forget to remind you just how great and easy these players make it look. A little bit awkward here. You may not take the chance on the draw stroke here, especially being a little elevated. I think he can really go forward and bump the six into position, but it's the type of shot with the queuing and a little concern on the two ball. You could actually miss this five ball. That's a nice little shot. Yeah, I think they've just got the confidence knowing that they're not playing against their toughest opponent. Maybe they just want to get off to a nice start. And it's hard to imagine what to do if you're Morocco. I mean, you're playing against two absolute masters of the game. 
what what do you do to get yourself in this game or do you just do you just talk it up to expertise well i don't think they're naive to the point understanding how big of an underdog they are and and just you know try and enjoy it try and get the stroke loose uh, you know i think everyone in the arena could say they're going to need some help or a lot of help maybe from the netherlands to win this match so you sit back and see if you get a little of that help maybe but you know try and enjoy it and like Phil talked about this is a big learning experience for a few of these teams in the world cup this felt a little funny could get a little thin on top of the nine here Sweet. Going according to script this far. Holland lead 2 0. So for Morocco, yes. Rolly was quite right to talk about the strength of the opposition, but also it's the alien environment in which they find themselves in. It's their World Cup of Pool debut. It's also their matchroom multi-sport promoted event debut. My Sharif and Imad, they will find out a lot about their games in the next half an hour, 40 minutes or so. This is the rack. And once the, the break off had gone this way, he sensed the Dutch would pounce. You know, Roly, no team in the history of this tournament, which began in 2006, no team has been more successful without actually getting their name on the silverware. That's right, yeah. Niels and Nick Vandenberg were uh, were runners-up in both 2013 and 2014. And in 2014, they were downed by our very own Carl Boys. So uh, I'm sure he'll mention Fifth that break. if he gets a chance two later on. The break. Leading by two wrecks to zero. Yeah, 10-9 that final in 2014. They should have won. Couldn't convert a winning position. No. Meister Bosch calming the breakdown a little bit, a better cue ball before it got kissed, and another offensive opportunity presents itself. Yeah, and Meister Bosch is no stranger to the semifinals. Him and Niels uh, made it there in 2019. So, I mean, these guys have been knocking on the door for a while. It's, uh, it might be their year. The little touch of the nine landed perfectly on the three to have easy natural position getting on the four. You can see the five, six, seven, nine handy. Now, was he intentionally bumping that nine? No, but he thought it was a possibility. That's why he came in with a very delicate speed. That way, if he gets a little bump, he doesn't have anything go too terribly wrong. These players are, you know, as great as they are, it's hard to always figure out, especially if the shot's a little difficult, you know, what part of the pocket I'm hitting the object ball into that really matters on the speed of the cue ball and the line of the cue ball. So a lot of people don't realize how much gut instinct really goes into our sport, just like other sports, so, you know, more of the reactionary kind of sports, right? Like basketball, tennis, anything that's got movement. Yeah, and these guys aren't taking anything for granted. You saw Mark uh, take a little piece of lint off the table. Doesn't want to let anything go wrong. And they're also taking their time between shots. You know, you never see that in like a league match or a bar or anything. It's just shot, shot, shot. But these guys are really surgically careful. And I think that's what has led to them being so successful over the years. Well, we've had some huge favorites in some of these early matches of course but I'd, from what I've seen so far probably none bigger than this match and one thing that you know the Netherlands can do here is find their pace of play you know to go on further in this event. So 
Netherlands. JJ, as yes, usual, right. is spot on. This is a chasm. In Morocco, one of the most famous cities is Casablanca. It's a very famous four, film as well, of the course. Netherlands are leaving the Netherlands line in that everyone remembers. Play it again, Sam. Well, the Moroccans would like to play the first three ranks again, but it doesn't work like that. Pretty successful break off. Terrible kiss on the cue ball, but pretty easy safety here overall. Just banking the two between the three and seven is what I like, anyways, and just kind of floating the cue ball towards the purple five. The three, four, nine are huge blockers. And just a nice top English shot. I'm surprised he went that way. Yeah, he's going to give up a look at the two. Nothing friendly. But definitely has a has a piece of it. Now, do you think if he was playing a team that he was more afraid of, he would have taken more time and hit that shot more carefully? No, I think he was in sync with himself. It just uh, probably just caught the two a little bit heavy. Maybe didn't want to probably catch the seven with the cue ball. 
And you could be right. A little more simple safety in that regard. Not a bad little shot here. He couldn't do a whole lot. Now he could just roll the two and come up simply behind the pink four. The players will stay away from that shot when they're a bit away from it. Is he playing the bank here? Straight back with a double backdoor safety? Maybe Morocco shows us the first time with the jump cue. Degree of distance achieved, but the the two pokes its nose out. Yeah, that's the first shot Imad has had since uh, since three games ago, when the Netherlands just destroyed them three times in a row. So his arm is cold. He's got to be out of confidence, but not bad, all things considered. Oh, swish, swish by Biesterbosch. Nothing easy here on the three, though. It is a thin cut into the side, and it does play. Now he's going to roll on the four, it looks like. Touchy shot, though. Thirty balls pocketed by the Dutch. Zero so far by Morocco. And there's nothing to, to gladden the heart of the Moroccans here. Here in a second. Let me play the cue ball off the three into the pink four somehow. Whether it's a subtle hit on the on the three, it could go heavy, a little more speed. And he went light on the light side. It's always going to be a pretty easy make for. Kind of like the last match in my mind, but of course, Kazakis with a little bigger name than the Nikos at the moment, but Nikos really showed his class and and really played the stronger between the two. And I kind of see the same thing between Biesterbosch and, and Niels here in this match so far. Absolutely. Biesterbosch must really look up to Niels. I mean, he's been a pro since almost as long as Biesterbosch has been alive. He's seen Niels just, just wreck people at the Moscone Cup and two-time World Masters champ. This must be pretty cool playing with your hero. And the good thing for them, it's nothing new. It's not their debut as a team, and they've certainly played a lot of pool together through the years back in Holland. The Netherlands points the run. And the beat goes on. The Netherlands now 4-0 ahead. 
more than halfway to victory and the place in the last 16 intriguingly against the defending champions Germany now talking about the the title holders this roll of honor at the World Cup of pool underlines one thing you've got to be a top player to win it Austria I think they came the closest to retaining this title no one's done it yet Austria won in London in 2017 then got to the final the following year but were denied by China in Shanghai Wu Chaqing that week was simply superb but Austria did regain the title in Leicester in 2019 and what linked that week with this it was very warm outside we had a, a heat wave there's Carl Boys appearing on the Roll of Honour in 2014 when he partnered Darren Appleton Mika Immonen and Petri Makinen they won for Finland in 2012 10 years ago now and I think the dynamic in that pairing was very similar actually to the one that's currently in the Netherlands partnership Niels Fyen, the senior man, looked up to by the younger player and a, a very capable player in Mark Bosch. The, the Dutch came so close Breaking in back-to-back -back years, 2013, 2014. Eight years on, can they finally break through and win this thing? False stroke. One of those balls on. pocketed by Morocco is going to change here shortly and it'll change... Uh, it's a pretty easy table. You don't have to go up table with the cue ball at all. Not much movement, so nice rack for them to maybe get on the board. Jerry, when someone's scratched and the balls are like this, does the phraseology roadmap apply here? Yeah, this one's pretty easy. Anytime there's limited cue ball travel, it's just making sure you're you're keeping your wit about where the cue ball needs to be and it's going to be obviously a bunch of short shots so definitely uh, you could label this one somewhat of a road map i gotta tell you if i had this run out i would not make it i think if i was down four balls i would be pretty nervous my arm would be pretty cold and i would probably beef this shot right here well this is funny because he's got to either draw the cue ball or come short side on the five so his opponent got him a little out of line. Oh, he left his opponent the thin cut. Or excuse me, his partner, not his opponent. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of a strange format where you're always leaving a shot for not you. So it sort of feels a little oppositional, but you gotta you gotta give each other the best possible option. Oh, nice shot there. Wow, and a nice little bump on the six ball. Okay, Morocco coming back. This will give him a little confidence. Yeah, just don't overthink it. And this is where the slick table, they don't realize you can really pull the cue ball easily back for the eight. It looks like that's what he's doing. Bit of a stretch here. Beautiful. Wow, Morocco is really looking a lot stronger, like a completely different team from the first rack when they just missed two balls in a row. Well done. We've not had a, a whitewash in this year's tournament so far, and that is going to remain the case. Morocco have a rack on the board. Bosch de Bosch, the, the breaker extraordinaire, scratched off the break, and Morocco did the rest. The last time we were talking about Morocco on a matchroom telecast, that was at the World Pool Masters. We were in Gibraltar, and across the Straits of Gibraltar. You can see Morocco in the distance. It really is a beautiful country. The, the desert, the Atlas Mountains, the coastline. 
lovely place to visit. But the, the centre pocket with the cue ball isn't. No, an awful kiss on the cue ball there. A bit unfortunate for Mark. And the thing is, we all know the table doesn't really require you know you to unload as much as you can. And what happens is you don't kind of fly the cue ball back past the sides because you're not swinging, you know, at 90 percent, 80 percent really unloading. So you get that cue ball to pop back a little bit, but it's in that range where a lot of balls cross those paths and we see a lot of awful kisses on the cue ball. Now, Jeremy, you were mentioning don't overthink the shot, it's but right. I always hear that pool is a game Came of intense concentration. So what do you do to balance two. that out? Um, you know, routines, I think, are built by a lot of little mild information. You know, you don't want to overload too much. Oh, worry about position so much. Worry about making it. You know, you just a little information here and there. Just you feed the brain, and that way you're constantly kind of busy doing something, but you're not really, like, keying on too, too much. False stroke. And that oh. was a little bit of his fault Falling there. Hands. Anytime you move that cue ball towards the side, your chances really enhance of a bad kiss. That is a tragedy. Just when Morocco got a point on the board, it's not a bad break other than the scratch, but man, that's gotta, gotta suck for Morocco. Ball in hands. The cue ball was curving towards the center pocket and then it was coaxed in by the one. Now, I will say I ran into Imad on the elevator yesterday, and he informed me that he didn't speak English and then had basically a full English conversation with me. So uh, I think I think he speaks pre pretty well, and maybe his confidence in his English uh, should be a little higher because he was pretty fluent. Uh, yeah. A bit of a tricky rack here, even though these next two shots aren't too tough. But anytime you have to play the pink four into the middle and get across the table on the five and then back across for the six, you got to work the cue ball a bit and you got to have a nice, nice line on the cue ball as well. And really, how strong is the continent of Europe become in nine ball pool? I mean, one thing we constantly talk about, or not constantly, but it's mentioned a lot, the Moscone Cup. And even though these two should be mentioned, they really haven't been mentioned a whole lot as far as in consideration for this year. Now there's a lot to unfold still in the nine ball rankings and so many big events coming, but Europe in a good place. Yeah, Niels has been in eight Moscone Cups before, um, but it seems like he was a little bit less effective in the last couple of Moscone Cups he was in. I mean, he won MVP four times in the jump, but yeah, just a couple more European players coming up who seem to be a little more consistent. Um, yeah, it's again, it's just a hard lineup to pick just because there's so much talent there. Well, the thing what's happening with the Euros is, you know, a few years ago, if you had one Euro kind of have one finish in there, you say, oh, well, Niels is still the guy I want, but they're having consistent Time and time again finishes the Polish players. Of course, there's some we don't have to bring up their names. They're definitely going to be in consideration for Euro's team, the European team. And then you've got that great triumvirate, Jason Shaw, Albin Auschen and Joshua Filler. How do you keep those three off the team sheet? Oh, exactly. And, you know, the two Spaniards that are trying to play. This is pretty one-sided, isn't it? The scratch on the break-off, allowing the Dutch to move further ahead. The lead now...
Yeah, you step on. We look to be heading towards a blockbuster all-European match in the last 16 between the Netherlands and Germany because Morocco are struggling. The scratch on the break in rack six was fully capitalised upon by the Dutch, who now lead 5-1. And of course, in rack seven, they get to break. Thank you, the seventh rank. The Netherlands are leading by their to smiles, they're enjoying it. For them, it is a day of a, a lifetime in terms of pool coming up against players of this calibre on this international stage. You're right, guys. Guys, we can hear you down here. I think uh, Marcel Eckhart there, the referee, use. Push out call. Very keen on these kind of things. Was admonishing a member of the audience for talking too loudly there. Yeah, Marcel's used to the Moscone Cup crowd, which is a bunch of uh, very boisterous people, so this shouldn't be a difficult crowd for him to control. Yeah, on the snooker circuit as well. He takes no nonsense. So, Jeremy, just a, a push out because his path to the two was blocked. Yeah, and he's pushing out, you know, just like he probably would against any team here. I mean, he couldn't push out to too easy of a safety. The kick on the two is pretty difficult, so he's going to roll out to a tester. I think these guys should take it, though. You've got to shoot away from here. Yeah, they showed us in game five they can make some shots if they get the opportunity. So maybe they'll maybe they'll trust their their uh, shot making ability here. And the safety is not tough either. You could bank the two away and just roll the cue ball back underneath the six nine. So one way or another, offensive or defensive, I think they should have taken it. And hey, get that time at the table, get that experience. It's a pretty easy safety overall, so not not a rollout you would see pretty much any other team pass on. I don't think, anyways. When you're coming to the table for the first time as a pair, you can select either player to take the shot on. Is that right? Um, we had an infraction yesterday. I can't remember which team it was exactly that shot out of turn. And it... Argentina. That's right. That's right. And um, I believe you can uh, because we do rotate the break as well, right? So the, the order does get mixed as the break shot gets taken. Uh, you may have made this. Oh, wow. Watch oh, no. Oh, Come on, Morocco gets no love from the gods of pool. But he's smiling about it. You know, that's that's the mark of uh, of a well balanced human being, who can get luck that bad and still be at least a little cheerful about it. My Sharif, way to go. That ball is going to roll on to the end round, make things much more difficult than they should have been. I'm going to have to kind of kill the cue ball here off a couple rails, it looks like. 
he's going to go to the long rail just past the side with a lot of right check coming to the bottom rail and then back up table for the six in the lower right. I think anyways. May just draw to the end rail here. Oh, he could. Nice shot. And again, Beister Bosch looks the best to me in these two. Wow. Nice little check side, perfect position. That's got to feel pretty good. We've had some very big upsets over the years in the World Cup of Pool. Not a hint of an upset so far. The seeds are going through with consummate ease, and this is going to be surely another one-sided result. Extension. Extension, please. Well, I know it might sound crazy, but just like what I think we're going to see the now on professional pool, even on the single side of things, the match room and nine, uh, nine ball events and the rankings and everything else that's going on has really just motivated these players. Well, I could not agree with you more, Jeremy. I think all of the top players have got a new energy, a new commitment, a new motivation, and clearly the Dutch are in sync here. Mark Beisterbosch is the junior partner in terms of career achievement, but the way he's played in this match, you have to say he's the best of the bunch. So far. When it came to the, the push out, the Moroccans gave it back, and that was the shot that cost him. He fluked the two, but unfortunately, it wasn't only the two that found a pocket, it was also Whitey. The cue ball went in as well, and from there, Holland did the business. So this draw is really building up beautifully. I think in the last 16, it's going to be one terrific contest after the next. We know the Chinese Taipei will take on Greece, the eighth and ninth seeds respectively. Also in the very top half of the draw, Germany surely will now play the Netherlands. And that is going to be a cracking contest. Actually, the Netherlands defeated Germany in the World Cup in 2014. I got to say, I think Germany is playing a lot more rock steady than the Netherlands are. So if the Netherlands are going to play Germany, they're going to have to bring a little more concentration to the game. Yeah, I think Thorsen will get more comfortable as the event goes as well. And if, you, if you like your March Madness, we're here in June and it may not be that hard to fill out the bracket so far through the first day and a half of our World Cup of Pool. Uh, Phil, do you think that that uh, layout looks like any kind of map that you're familiar with? Uh, yes, but for risk of reputation, I'm keeping quiet. By the way, Jeremy was just talking about March Madness. That is the NCAA basketball tournament over in the USA, which always produces some wonderful upsets. But here, they've been thin on the ground. In fact, they've been non-existent so far. Yeah, there's actually a little bracket going on on the Kamui brand Instagram page, but it was uh, set up before the Philippines was forced to withdraw. Extension. So cold. bracket's a little off. However, uh, you know, the team that replaced them, Thailand, they look pretty strong. So you might have the same bracket, just swap out the Philippines for Thailand. Yes, I can tell all of the pool fans you'll enjoy seeing Nopon Sankarm and Teb Chai Anu play for Thailand, the two snooker players, apart from being very talented, they are just wonderful individuals, really nice guys. Banks of charisma. Yeah, I heard very fun to watch play as well. 
Got a nice rhythm. Okay, funny little shot here. Does he go to the right side of the nine or the left? He's got a choice. Just got to be clear cut. Again, he can kind of kill the ball with draw, or he can come some two to three rails around the nine. Preference here. Damn, beautiful shot from Mark. He is really, really destroying the competition here. A runaway, a very simple victory for Holland. Much like Bing Crosby and Bob Hope all those years ago, the losers, I'm afraid, hit the road to Morocco. As for Holland, they go through to the last 16 and do not discount their chances of going all the way, even though blocking their path next will be the mighty Germans. It is 7-1 for the Netherlands over Morocco.